Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how to make t-shirt yarn using the whole of the t-shirt. Let's get our money's worth. So, if you like my videos, please subscribe below, give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this one, and leave me any comments on your successes with t-shirt yarn or maybe what you've made with it. So, I'm Christine of christinescrafts.com and this channel is dedicated to crafting on a budget. So, first of all, you need your t-shirt. Now, any old t-shirt will do, preferably with no designs or prints on it and transfers. But one thing I'm going to draw your attention to here is my t-shirt has got a seam down the side. When you're making t-shirt yarn, it's ideal if there is no seam down the side. But even if there is, you can still make t-shirt yarn. It'll just be a little bit more bulky. So don't be put off. So the first thing you need to do is lie your t-shirt flat. Get it nice and flat and get rid of the creases. And in the bottom there, we're going to cut off that seam. There's always a nice tidy hem at the bottom. and We're just going to cut the whole thing off. Now you'll see I'm not exactly precise. So you just go along and cut it, cut through both layers and get rid of that seam. And you'll see in a moment, you don't need to worry if you miss a little bit or you've got a little bit up on the t-shirt. Just do the best you can and then see how you've done. So once that's cut off, check the bottom of the t-shirt that's left. And I've missed a little bit there. There's a little bit of seam. So I'm just going to trim it off. So don't need to worry. Just trim off any bits that you didn't quite catch. Once we've completed that, it's time to cut your t-shirt just below the sleeves. OK, we're going to cut that whole top section of the T-shirt off. So just cut below the sleeves. And this is going to give you a nice tube to work with. Now, I know I said we're going to use all the t shirt so don't worry. We'll come back to that top section later. But for the moment, just put it to one side and we're going to work with the tube. You may find that you've got labels inside your T-shirt in the seam and you'll be able to feel them. So have a look, any labels you've got, just cut them out. They're just gonna to add to the bulk, they're gonna make a mess, they're gonna get cut, we just want rid of them. So now we are literally left with a tube of fabric. So once again, lie it down flat, getting rid of as many creases as you can, and then we're gonna to look to fold it, ready to cut our yarn. So you're going to fold one side seam over to the other, but you need to make sure you don't line them up. We need a gap between one side seam and the other because we're only going to cut all the way through one. So you need to decide how wide you want to cut your fabric. My recommendation is somewhere between half an inch and an inch. Half an inch will make you quite fine yarn, an inch quite chunky. I'm going three quarters of an inch. And it depends how accurate you want to be, but I recommend just marking your fabric every three quarters of an inch along that fold. It'll just help you to keep nice, tidy yarn that's approximately the same size all the way along it. And then go back to where you started and cut where you marked it. You're just going to cut a nice strip along that edge. So your, inch, your three quarters of an inch wide strip Cut through that first fold that you come to, but not the second one. I recommend leaving, I don't know, about half an inch, three quarters of an inch at the end to make sure you've got plenty and you don't cut through it accidentally. So then you go to the next one and repeat. Go to the next one and repeat. So you can see what you're doing here. You're just cutting these strips one after the other making sure you go through the top fold and not the bottom one. Just take your time and be careful. So I'm going to speed the video up a little bit just so you can see exactly what I do, but you don't get too bored watching me. So you can see how it's growing, how it's working its way along. And you can see that you're going to end up with quite a lot of yarn from this. If you think how much fabric I'm cutting there and how many strips. Just work your way all the way to the bottom. Now, it might not work out perfectly at the bottom. Mine certainly didn't. You can adjust the width of your strips a little bit 
or you can just cut the extra bit off. And that's what I chose to do. So you'll see as I reach the bottom, there's a silly little thin bit and I'll just cut it off. It's my last strip. Cut off that little thin bit at the bottom. Okay, now that top layer, just open those strips back like that. Just pull them back out of the way. You don't need that top layer in your way. And then we're going to look at what we've left that we didn't cut through. What you're basically ending up with here is a spine with all your strips coming off it. So I'm going to place it on my hand so that you can see that you've got this spine and all the strips coming off it. And now we need to cut that so that we end up with yarn. So this is a bit we have to be really careful. I recommend putting it over an ironing board. But so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm putting it over a little sleeve board. But you just make sure you feed it over your ironing board and make sure all the strips are on the correct side. So just take your time so that you get that tube over your ironing board. You don't have to use an ironing board, but it does make sure that no accidents happen, I find. So just work it and get it on. Once you've got it nice and smooth, with all the strips on the right sides, it's time to cut. So we're going to start by making the end of our yarn. So just cut diagonally like that, and you've made the end of the yarn. Go to the next one, cut diagonally again. You must cut diagonally to keep a continuous length of yarn. If you cut straight across, you're just going to make rings. So you're cutting diagonally from one strip to the other diagonally across. And you can stop after the first couple and check you've done it right, which you'll notice I did. And then you can just keep going diagonally, all of them. Work your way along, making sure you keep diagonal one after the other. When you get to the end, you're just going to have that end cut to do that makes the other end of your yarn. Just like that. So now you've got yarn and all we need to do is ball it up. However, what happens with stretchy fabrics is if you pull them tight, they roll slightly. It gives you a proper yarn, a nice tidy yarn that's really useful for loads of crafts. So as you're making it into a ball, pull it tight. Now I recommend you just pull each section tight. Just do a little bit, pull a little bit, wrap it on pull a little bit, wrap it on. You don't want to be pulling it so hard you start ripping your yarn. So as you can see, just work your way through, make that ball. Just keep pulling it tight, wrapping it on, pulling it tight and wrapping it on. And there you go. You'll have a great ball of yarn for any sort of crafts you want, knitting, crocheting, locker hooking, whatever. And that's it. You can stop there if you like. But what about the rest of the t-shirt? I said we were going to use it all. So if you want to get the most you can out of your t-shirt, stick with me and keep watching. And we'll see what we can do with the sleeves and the top part of the t-shirt. Okay, so you're gonna be left with that section we had at the beginning. Bring that in and let's work on that. First thing we're gonna do is look at the sleeves. So we're going to remove them from the rest of the t-shirt. So lie your t-shirt, I suppose it is still a t-shirt, although just not very much of it, down flat. And again, you're nice and smooth. And we're going to cut one sleeve off. You can cut either side of the seam, it doesn't matter because we're going to cut the seam off completely from both sections. So I've cut it to try and cut the seam off. But the same as other seams, don't worry. You get to this point, you've still got some bits of seam there, just trim them off. So we've now got a sleeve separate. So we're going to repeat for the other one, so we've got two sleeves. And then we need to cut off anything that got left on that seam. And then we need to look at the hem on the end of the sleeve and cut that off. And then we're going to do a similar approach to what we did with the, other, the rest of the t-shirt. You've got a tube, so fold it. 
and cut. You'll see I'm not measuring. It's up to you. You can measure and make sure you're accurate. Keep going. But you'll see we can only do a few cuts this time. And then once you get to the edge of the lower section, just cut your strips by opening it up. And there you go. So now the same as before, you're going to need to open those strips down. Look at that little spine you've made and you're going to cut diagonally. So let's cut diagonally. OK. And cut diagonally. Now you can see the bit I've already cut. We've got some long bits on the turn of the uh, fabric. Just trim it up and make it tidy. And you'll find there's a pattern for that, doing that now. You're going to do a lot of it on these smaller sections. Because we end up with bits that do need tidying up. So again, we're going diagonally. And you'll see we start to get to this section. Now when you get into that end section, you're just going to have to follow your yarn and cut. Okay, so lay it out flat. Work out which bits you need to cut. Follow your yarn and cut. And you see those pointy bits. It's just because of the shape of the sleeve. Just tidy them up. A nice bit of rounding off works brilliantly. If you just cut them square, they'll be okay. But if you round them, you get a little bit less bulk. And so we've made some more t-shirt yarn out of that sleeve. So again, pull it. Wind it up into a ball. Now as you're winding, if you come to any bits you think, well, that is a bit bulky, just trim it as you go. There's nothing stopping you. It's your yarn. You make it how you want it. So you can see I've got quite a length out of that, even though it's only a little sleeve. So it is worthwhile if you're wanting plenty of your yarn for your project. Keep going and wind it up. Now, obviously, we have two sleeves. So you repeat for the other one. So back to the main body. We're going to make sure we cut those seams off where the sleeves were. We want nice tidy edges. And the same at the other side. Now you need to fold it in half, taking those sleeve seams together. Okay. Now last time we folded it like this, leaving a gap. This time, you're going to fold it all the way. So you want them to line up perfectly. OK, so it's an important difference because we're doing it slightly differently. So this time, I'm not going to mark it. I've just put my ruler there to give me an idea. But you could mark it just the same as you did before. You're going to snip along, but you're going to leave some at the end. So three quarters of an inch, something like that at the end that you don't cut. Otherwise, you're just going to cut strips. So keep cutting until you get to the neckline of your t-shirt. Keep going. You start to feel that bulk of the neckline, either on the back or the front of the t-shirt, doesn't matter. Then we're going to stop. So you can see that's the last one I'm going to cut this way. So now we can open that back up. And you can see what we've done. We've done it through both layers. So now for the next thing we're going to do, we need to open it up so it's single layer. Now take your time, open it up, lay it down and make it smooth and tidy so that you can do the next bit without getting in a pickle and cutting anything you shouldn't. So to start with, just cut from one end just cut that first one so that you cut all the way through to make the end of your yarn. And then that goes to the side. You can work your way up. And when you get to the other end, you can see that you need to snake back with your yarn. So don't cut all the way through on that, not that one. Cut on the next one. Take the pattern round. Cut the next one. And you keep alternating either end. Snake it round. Cut the next one. So you're cutting every other one at each end so that you end up with a continuous run of yarn. 
Okay, so you can see that one. So come down to this end and I need to snip that one. And then when I get back up to the other end, I've now got this wide bit because it was the back of the t-shirt. So now all I'm going to do is carry on that pattern of continuous yarn. So I will cut from this end to make another length. And I'll make sure I don't cut all the way through the other end. I will stop at my three quarter inch again. And then to come back, I will simply start from the edge, three quarters of an inch across. So, so that I could still use my scissors because I can't use them backwards from the other side. I'm just turning mine so that I can come, not in there, but from the edge. So. Measure that three quarters again or do it by eye and then come back. And you can see that you're keeping a continuous length. And then when we get to the other end, keep that three quarters of an inch again. And come back the other way. And you just keep alternating, keep zigzagging your way until you get to the top of the t-shirt, till you get to that neck we don't want any of that bulk in our yarn. Come back again. You can see mine's getting a little bit ruched up. Just keep smoothing it down. Make sure you don't cut anything you shouldn't. And that's it. I've decided that's enough. And now you're going to repeat that with the front. So sped it up a little bit because you've got the idea now. So we'll keep going and do the same. And then I've just left those little bits there. I'm not chasing those. And you'll see that you've got quite square ends where the uh, edge of the uh, t-shirt was. Just tidy them up. I mean, if you're happy with them, you can leave them there, but they can make your yarn a bit bulky. So just cut them down just with a curve. You've got the idea now. You've seen me do this enough times. And wind it up. And that's it. You've used all your t-shirt to make t-shirt yarn. So I hope you find lots of great projects to use it on. And I hope you've found this video useful. T-shirt yarn is great to work with. So thank you for watching. Good luck with your projects. Please remember to give me a thumbs up below and some nice comments if you have any. And subscribe so that you can catch all my videos. Bye.